This 1v1 attacking drill will put your player's strength, dribbling and finishing skills to the test with their back to goal. For the setup you'll need a 10 by 15 yard area, one large goal, three pug goals, two soccer balls and two teams of three. You can also include a goalkeeper as well. The attacker and defender will start in the middle with the attacker having their back to goal and the defender in a goal side position. The attacker's teammates will start with the ball and pass to the attacker in the middle. As soon as a pass has been played, the defender can press and try to win the ball back. For the attackers, they are trying to score in the larger goal for three points. If the defenders are able to gain possession of the ball, they can score in either of the pug goals for one point. And if the ball goes out of bounds, or if the goalkeeper gets hold of the ball, both teams will get zero points. The attacker can also gain a point if the defender fouls the attacker. When the attacker receives the ball, they should receive the ball in a side-on body position and on the front foot. This will keep the ball as far away from the defender as possible, making it a lot more difficult for them to try and win the ball back without fouling the attacker. The attacker must use a combination of skills and body feints with a change of speed and direction to try and turn the defender or to get them in a position where they are facing them 1v1. Make sure to swap the roles of the players to ensure both teams have defended and attacked with the team getting the most amount of points winning the round. The draw on your screen now is my favourite drill to use for encouraging quick changes of speed and direction. Like, subscribe, peace.